While the crypto market hasn't done much over the last couple of days, there are a couple of very important developments for Bitcoin, Cardano, and Luna that we need to go over. So first thing is going to be with the overall crypto market. Right now, when we're looking at the crypto market, we're seeing some positive developments for Bitcoin for the first time in a couple of weeks. We're seeing that Bitcoin on the weekly charts is green for the first time in more than seven weeks. And this is very important because Bitcoin is still in this orange range right here, trading in between $28,000 per coin and $31,000 per coin. So while we still are in that range, it's exciting to see Bitcoin green for the week and also testing the upper level of this range. If we can see a weekly close above this level, well, that would be a very bullish sign for the overall market and could signal that we are on our way to new record highs very shortly and that we will, we already have seen the bottom. This could be a great signal for that. I want to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Margex. Margex is a Bitcoin-based derivatives platform that gives traders the ability to trade with up to 100x leverage. Margex provides traders with access to global crypto markets, so you can trade really any of your favorite cryptos. They have, you know, BTC, Ethereum, XRP, EOS, and more. But the difference is, is there are a lot more potential for larger gains when you use leverage. Some things I personally like about Margex is simple UI design, because that is really important for anyone trying to download a platform. No KYC, meaning that you only need to use your email address and a password to sign up. That is it. And also, it is very, very simple to use. So it is definitely worth your time to take a look at this exchange. Make sure to use my code in the description. Just use the link down below. You'll get up to $100 free when you sign up. And try for yourself. Let me know what you think and put it in the comments down below. Anyways, back to the program. Next thing is going to be with Luna. Right now, what we're seeing with Luna is that Terra 2.0 has officially launched with an airdrop. And the important thing here is that a lot of people who had owned Luna tokens before that major crash, before the whole collapse, they had gotten airdropped new tokens. Now it's trading right between, you know, $4 and $7 per coin. It's been hovering right in between that range. But the important thing here is that when we're looking at Luna right now, we're seeing that major exchanges like KuCoin, Bybit, FTX, and many others have listed Luna. Some of them have listed the new Luna token as Luna 2.0. Others have simply listed it as Luna. But the important thing is, is that we're seeing new exchanges get behind the new Luna blockchain. And while, yes, this is good for people who are bullish on Luna long term, ultimately, we are still going to see a long road ahead for this new Luna blockchain because there's been billions of dollars lost. A lot of trust has been lost with the ecosystem, and right now there are very few DApps on the new blockchain. So it's going to take a while to see growth in this, if ever, really, in my opinion. But let me know your thoughts on this. The one thing I would be concerned about with this, and one thing I really want to point out in today's video about Luna, is what has been going on with UST. What we're seeing with UST in particular is that right now, there was a new proposal that was passed to burn 1.3 billion UST tokens. And my biggest concern here is that a lot of people voted to pass this. 99% of voters voted to burn this 1.3 billion UST tokens. But the big concern here is that UST is not even being used in the new Luna blockchain. It says it's going to be completely forgotten about. It's going to be used for Luna Classic, the old Luna blockchain. But moving forward, I don't think this really provides any value. Yes, it's exciting to see tokens burned. Yes, it may help stabilize the value of UST, but ultimately long-term, I am staying away from this because UST is not even going to be used in the new Luna blockchain. And regardless of all of that, so much has been trust, so much trust has been lost in both projects that like UST and Luna that ultimately it's a very risky play. But let me know your thoughts on all of this, the Luna burning, uh, the, the UST burning, what's been going on with Luna 2.0, and all of that. Now I want to talk about what's been going on with Cardano, because Charles Hoskinson, the founder of Cardano, recently came out and talked a little bit about Luna. He said in particular that the problem with crypto and new projects and new blockchains right now is that a lot of projects go about trying to get to from point A to point B as fast as possible. And he says the problem with this is, is that they run into a lot of issues, they do things too quickly, and people ultimately end up losing a lot of money. He said not only have people lost money through 
projects moving too quickly, but also we've seen money lost through hacks. And this is something that Cardano, he says, has never done. They've always prioritized security first. We've seen with Solana, they've had so many outages with the blockchain. We've seen that obviously Luna completely collapsed. And just there's so many projects that are trying to rush development in order to scale and grow quickly. But this creates a lot of instability with the projects, and this ultimately can create a lot of value being lost in the short term because long-term projects that prioritize security, scalability, those are gonna be the ones that succeed because people need to be able to trust where they're putting their money, in my opinion, and if you see projects losing money, you see projects having outages, you see projects having major glitches and, and, and simply collapsing, that's not good long-term. Other thing going on with Cardano is we've seen a couple of very exciting developments in terms of the ecosystem. We've seen Cardano has officially surpassed 5 million native assets on the Cardano blockchain. And this is very exciting. We've continued to see more and more uh, NFTs and assets on Cardano's blockchain. And this number has continued to skyrocket throughout 2022, despite everything going on in the market. In addition to this, in terms of total number of projects, we've seen it almost reached 1,000 total projects built on Cardano blockchain. Right now, it's sitting at 980 six projects up from about 943 just a couple weeks ago and i believe it will surpass that 1000 mark very quickly but ultimately we're seeing more native assets more nfts and more dApps continuing to build on cardano and launch on cardano despite uh, like really some negativity in the market and the massive correction we have seen as of recently next thing i want to talk about with cardano is going to be what has happened with charles hoskinson and a pretty exciting announcement from Cardano and overall network activity. And what we have seen with Cardano is that the overall network activity, total amount of transaction volume on Cardano's blockchain is second only to Bitcoin. It is ahead of Ethereum, ahead of every other crypto project out there. And what we can see according to new data um, pointed out by Charles Hoskinson is that when we look at Cardano right now, it had 9.57 billion dollars um, on transaction volume in a 24 hour window just the other day. This was significantly higher than Ethereum, significantly higher than every other blockchain out there. And you can see on this chart right here that the only cryptocurrency that had more transaction, transaction volume in a 24-hour window was Bitcoin. So what does this mean? Well, ultimately, despite everything going on the price, despite recent corrections, I believe we will see Cardano's price bounce back very, very quickly to new record highs when we do see the market turn around because of all of this network activity, because of all the transaction volume, because of all the NFT because of all the dApps. Ultimately, we're seeing so much network activity that really Cardano is, in my opinion, going to bounce back faster than other projects because of all of this activity. And last couple things I want to talk about is going to be what is going on with um, some big updates that have happened with Cardano that some people really haven't been talking about. So while the TVL on Cardano's ecosystem has come down substantially from record highs, at one point it was around 350 uh um, right, right around $350 million. It has come down substantially. But the thing going on right now is that there's been one project in particular that has launched a bridge for ERC-20, like Ethereum-based tokens, over to Cardano's blockchain. And this is a very important thing because what we're seeing is that this bridge converts ERC-20 tokens to CNT tokens. And this ultimately long-term is going to provide a lot of value for Cardano's whole Cardano blockchain and Cardano holders because projects that maybe don't like the gas fees on Ethereum can ease, easily move over to Cardano through this new bridge. So ultimately, there's a lot of exciting stuff happening with Cardano, the Cardano ecosystem, Luna, UST, and even Bitcoin. So let me know your thoughts on the overall market, but things are definitely looking a lot better right now in terms of overall state of the market. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know your thoughts, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.